So far, I've been having a blast in Series 3. It feels like a brand new kind of game, really, on the rank ladder. It's a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot different. We're seeing a lot of legendaries. Probably going to get stale very quick, but for now, we're going to ride the wave and keep having fun with it. We're back here today, bringing you guys some more rank battles, playing with a Life Orb Chiyu team that also features a little bit of a Snow Squad, a Bombaso, and Iron Bundle, and then a very cool pseudo legendary Salamence. Don't get to really see that on the rank ladder, so it should be fun trying to grab some wins with it. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button. Join the change community. We're pushing 20,000 subs and your guys' support means the world to me. So thank you guys so much for everybody who is a subscriber to the channel. Also want to give a huge shout out to the team creator for today's video. My boy, Clover Bells. Thank you so much for making another absolute banger of a team. Cannot wait to showcase it and grab some wins with it. We'll be leaving a link to his channel down in the description below. So definitely go check him out. Show him some jeans love over on his channel. But first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Abomasnow. Abomasnow is great because you can set up a Roar Veil, which is legit a light screen and a reflect in one. And then you can also take Weather Control. He's got Snow Warning, Focus Sash, Blizzard, a Roar Veil, Energy Ball, and Protect for its four moves. Iron Bundle is going to be second Pokemon, going to be really, really strong paired up with Abomaso considering it learns Blizzard and it's Stab for itself. It's got Quirk Drive, Assault Vest, Blizzard like we already mentioned, then we got Icy Wind, Freeze Dry, and Hydro Pump. I'm loving this moveset, cannot wait to rock out with some Iron Bundle. Salamence is going to be our third Pokemon. Like I said, Salamence is one of those pseudo legendaries that you don't really get to see on the rank ladder too much, but it has an amazing ability, Intimidate, so... Gotta be pretty good on the rank ladder. It's got clear amulet, dual wing beat, EQ, dragon dance, and protect. I feel like if we can set up a dragon dance with this Pokemon, with, with this Pokemon, blah, can't speak right now. But if we could speak, uh, I can't speak, I can't speak. If we can set up a dragon dance with this Pokemon, there we go. This Pokemon can be very strong, dealing some big time damage, and grabbing us some wins. We got Corviknight in our fourth slot with Mirror Armor and the Safety Goggles. Really strong because it's bulky all around. Plus, it can give our team Speed Control with Tailwind. It also has Iron Head, Brave Bird, and Roost for HP recovery. We got Fluttermane in our fifth spot. Everybody knows Fluttermane is OP when paired up with Chiyu, so that's exactly what we're doing today. It's got Protosynthesis, the Booster Energy, Moon Blast, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Protect. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Final Pokemon is going to be that Chiyu with the Life Orb, Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Overheat, Protect, another Pokemon you guys seen plenty of times before. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Life Orb Chiyu and Intimidate Salamence team. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against a really weird team right now. No legendaries, but they have Breloom. I absolutely love Breloom. They also have Heracross, Arcanine. Golden Go, Sandstream on the Hip Out on, and then Palafin. Obama Snow Iron Bundle is going to be super, super strong. So I'm going to actually lead Iron Bundle, but not Obama Snow in case they want to go into Hip Out on. I can just hard swap into Obama Snow and kind of go from there. So I'm going to end up leading maybe a Pokemon like Salamence or even Chiyu could be really strong. Chiyu Iron Bundle could rip up for me. It definitely could. I could go into Corvo because Corvo is not too bad with the mirror armor. And then we can just throw Brave Birds around. We have Iron Head. I can't get down with that, but I think Salamence could be a solid lead, especially if they want to lead physical attackers, such as like Breloom, Palafin, Heracross. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go these three, and then last but not least, got to bring in the Chiyu. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Look to get this video started off with a big fat W. Going for the victory here in match number one, as always, because, you know, you got to start off the video with W, or at least try to, or at least try it, right? Definitely got to try to. But man, I've been so busy today. My day's not even over, but... I'm having a good day today. Worked all day today. Now I'm back. Just got done. Recording for you guys. Video. This video will be out soon. <laughs> then uh, going to go hit the gym. And then I have a hockey game. So. And then I'm going to go go to bed. Yeah. That's my day. That's my day. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. But they end up leading Heracross and Palafin. Which I really don't mind. I mean. Potentially they're going to hard swap the Palafin. Right? Do I just freeze try it? Or do I hydro pump it? Maybe make a read that Arcanine would come out here? I say we just freeze dry it and then we just go into like a dual wing beat here. But definitely be our play. Or maybe just Dragon Dance. I'm gonna Dragon Dance. I'm gonna look to set up the Dragon Dance. So Palafin doesn't get the withdrawal. Are you gonna go into Arcanine? It's gonna be hit Powdown, which I'm totally fine with. I am totally fine with that. Because freeze dry is still gonna rip into it. Still do some big time damage. And Heracross is gonna Thrastalize. Into what typing are you, Heracross? You're kinda scaring me a little bit. Into rock. Okay, that is very scary. A little rocky boy right here. 
A little rocky boy. I mean, I can Hydro Pump that next turn, which could be really good for us. But Freeze Try is going to deal half damage. That's really, really solid for us. And now we D-Dance up, giving us plus one speed boost, plus one attack. I really do like that. I'm going to look to Hydro Pump that Heracross next turn. Depending on what that's in. Goes for a Rock Blast. Oh, no. You are dead, Salmons, aren't you? Actually, no. You should be able to eat this. You're doing pretty good here. You were doing pretty good. Actually, maybe not. Can you, like, stop hitting me with Rock Blast? Can you stop? That's it. That's enough. Oh, God. Ripped into me. Five times. This thing's got to be all lens. But at this point, I kind of like where we're sitting. I mean, Salamence got ripped on, but I bring out my weather. I have grass moves. I like where we're sitting. I like this. I don't mind it. So from here, we blast the snow out here. And I'm just going to freeze dry you again because i know freeze dry ko's and if you opt to swap out into the palafin it could do some big time damage and then i'm just gonna energy ball this hair across so freeze dry is gonna take out the hip out on see you later i was gonna hydro pump in the hair across but i figured the hip out on might just swap right that could be a little scary energy ball is gonna fly how much damage are we doing here chunking up some nice damage big time damage and we know we outspeed which is big time that thing's rocking pin missile oh my lord you might be dead obama snow you are dead, right? If this thing's hitting five times again. Loaded dice. Oh, no. We're good. We're good. Why does it seem like it started hitting le for less? I mean, I'm cool with that. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. This Heracross needs to go. Hopefully, Palfin doesn't come out here. It's going to be Golden Go. And then, actually, I'm cool with that. Golden Go comes out here. Um. Uh. Hmm. I think I'm just Hydro Pumping this thing down. There's an energy ball on you. I could actually protect you this turn. Which I think might be my play. I'm gonna protect the bomb snow this turn. I think a pin missile or something's gonna come in here. And maybe make it rain. So and hair cross protects too, so this, that's solid. That is solid. So it turns down to a 1v1 here. Hydro pump is going to connect, which I really, really like. Chunking up some nice damage. And he opts to go for the make it rain. So he's gonna be minus one. I should be able to eat that up, considering I'm vested. So, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And now from here, I think I might just want to freeze strike KO you. And then try to set up an Aurora Veil. I think Aurora Veil could be very beneficial for us. Or I can just hard swap into Chi Yu. Do I hard swap into Chi Yu here? Just so Hydro Pump can definitely KO. I mean, Freeze Dry should, to be honest. If I tear it into Ice and just... Maybe even Ice even here. I'm gonna tear it into Ice. No, I'm not. Mm. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna Freeze Dry KO you. And then just try to land a Blizzard. I probably shouldn't have Freeze Dry. I probably should have just straight up Blizzard. Would have been a way better call. But I was running out of time. I hesitated. I panicked. I panicked. <laughs> so I finally get rid of this dang Heracross. Can you outspeed a bomb so? You do. Can you freeze maybe? No freeze. Maker Rain's gonna double kill me. No, the Iron B survives. That's big time for me. That's big time that Iron B actually survives here. Iron B, baby. That's a big time eat up for us. Okay, so. All he has left is Palfin. We have Terra. They have Terra? Did they, they didn't Terrasalize. Oh, yeah, they did. They Terrasalize the Heracross. But Palfin comes back out here. And this is a turn where I drop a Heat Wave. Right? I have to drop a Heat Wave no matter what. I have to go Freeze Dry into Heat Wave and Terrasalize into Ghost. Yeah. Cool. That's fine. I'm with it. I'm down. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. That's my play here. This is. Go. This is a good first match. Good first match. Coming down to the wire. The thing I'm scared of is the Jet Punch. Obviously, Jet Punch kills my uh, Iron Bundle. Jet Punch would kill my Chiyu if I didn't have Thrasalization. But if he goes after Chiyu with uh, Jet Punch, we pretty much win this match. Because then Freeze Drive will KO the Palafin, no problem. And I should be fine. Golden Go, I'm sort of protect. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Let's see what he ends up doing. Goes for Jet Punch into Chiyu. And yeah, that just wins this game. Freeze Dry is going to pop here. See you later, Palafin. No problem. 
We outspeed Golden Go. I'm just gonna start throwing. I, do I throw overheats? Oh no, they just turn off the console anyway. <laughs> I was gonna start throwing dark pulses, higher accuracy. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. First match, made our opponent quit, turn off its console. You guys gotta love it. It feels good to make little Timmy hop off for tonight, right? Little Timmy turned off his console. He said, hey yo, I'm done playing Pokemon, made him rage quit for tonight. That's how you get this video started. We like it. We like it a lot. We like being toxic a little bit, right? It's always fun. It's always fun. But second match coming at you guys. Going up against a Ting Lu and Palafin team. Alongside Bax Calibur, uh, Glamora, Fluttermane, and Amoonga. So Ting Lu mm, is a problem. It's a problem. It really lowers my special attack. And I have a really mainly a special attacking team, right? Mainly special attacking team. I could go into you. A little bit of you action. I mean, you wouldn't be bad. Corviknight. Hmm. And I kind of like Corviknight. I'm going to end up leading Corviknight. I'm going to go Corviknight and... There we go, Iron B. Or do I just go in with Salamence? Try, try to maybe set up some D-Dances. Especially if they go Palf in turn one. D-Dance could be really, really good for us. So I'm going to end up leading these two. I'm going to lead them two. And I'm going to bring Chi Yu and Fluttermane in the back end. Yeah. Definitely got to go Chi Yu Fluttermane here. Sorry, Ice Pokemon. Snow Squad, we'll call him. Sorry, Snow Squad. You're not coming in here. But first match went perfectly. Nice little W. Cherry on top was their opponent. Just uh, canceled his, uh, well, turn off his console. Or close the software. Either or. It's always fun to make somebody do that. But this one seems like it's going to be tough. I feel like this team might struggle up against Ting Lu, right? Just Ting Lu being out on the field could be a problem. But they end up leading the Palfin. Bang, bang, bang. We kind of wanted that a lot. Because... I can D-Dance. It's a free D-Dance here. It is a free D-Dance. Probably more. They're going to Mortal Spin. Pull that out. And I could tail in here. I could just straight up Iron Head. And I'm thinking I'm just Iron Heading here. Iron Heading and D-Dancing. That's my play. This Palafin's obviously swapping. Either flip turn and swapping. It's, it's, it's obvious, right? He ends up protecting. I'll take that all day. So there's another turn that you're sitting here being Palafin. Power Gen. Oh, you ripping when you were Power Gen. I should be able to soak that. Okay, 5 HP and a dream. 5 HP and a dream. <laughs> Ironhead coming out here. Corvo's doing some big time damage. The spike's obviously flying. Yo, dude, I think you put me on 5. Yo, chill on me. Um. Hmm. He's going to go for the jet punch. He's going to go for jet punch. So, you know, what? I'm just going to go for this Brave Bird here. And I'm just going to protect you. He's going to stay in with Palafin here with Jet Punch. There's no doubt in my mind, right? There's Like, I would think you would you would normally swap, right? But with a 5 HP Salamence, you're going for a Jet Punch into that. You were trying to Jet Punch. So from here, we're going to take advantage of that. There's the Jet Punch. Like I said, we're taking advantage of that. And we're getting off as much damage as we can onto this little Dolphin while we can. Power Jump. Oh, you doubled the Salamence? Oh. You doubled the Salamence. I'll take that all day. You double the Sally. Brave Bird's gonna half your HP. Uh, I feel like here we take some speed now. Um, Let's Tailwind up, and if we can go for an EQ and land it, I would like that. But he probably just jet punches, right? Might even, he might swap. He might just swap. Being like, yo, if he protects or swaps, I lose my Palafin. So I'm just gonna set up speed. I'm gonna allow him to make, make a move here. I kinda like where we're sitting. Salamence just... D dancing. I mean, did he didn't he do that in match number one? Did I D dance match number one? I totally forget. But he ends up swapping, which is really good news from us because now we take out Glamora and we get off a Tailwind. It's big time, big big time. So Salamence getting a little bit of value here, which we really like. EQ flying. See you later, Glamora. Ting Lu gonna take some damage. Now this is our problem right here. It's going to be Ting. Spikes are out and they're gonna be annoying later on. But Ting Lu is our, our main problem, right? Hands down, it's our main problem. It is our main problem. It just cancels out our special attack. If we get rid of Ting Lu, I think we win this match. No problem. No problem whatsoever. We still have Terra, but I don't really think we uh, want to Thrasalize right now. I think we save it for my Flutter Mate or my Chi Yu. But Baxi Baxi comes out. And... Huh. Probably gonna thrash that. Into what though? That's the real question. Into what though? I'm gonna maybe try to hit up on you. 
Now I'm gonna just dual wing beat down this uh this Baxi. I think Bax Caliber Terrasalize it might have Ice Shard on it, which could be a little bit of a problem. Could definitely be a little bit of a problem. But yeah, there's a turn. That's exactly why I didn't Iron Head into it. But opted to Iron Head into the other Pokemon, so we'll see what typing he wants to go into. It's gonna be straight steel typing. It's actually like the most perfect type for for the Pokemon I have on the field. <laughs> or the moves that I'm using at least. So Ice Shard does come out here, so he just Terrasalize to block the Iron Shot. And we're gonna Iron Head into Tingling. Maybe try to get a flinch here. A flinch could be really good from us. But at this point, Chiyu can one shot it. No problem, right? We should be able to. Rumination gonna do a nice chunk of damage. Gotta bring out Chiyu here. And the real question is, do I Terrasalize slash Chiyu? I don't think I do, right? I mean I could. I could Terra in the ghost type here. Poison comes out, of course. God dang poison. <laughs> God dang poison. Beads of Ruin's gonna pretty much neutral out this uh, special attack drop. And from here, I'm just gonna Roost Corvo. And I'm gonna Terra and Heat Wave. Because I think potentially he protects his Baxcalibur, right? And goes for like a Stomping Tantrum or some sort of ground move into my GU. So by Trash we can survive another turn. We'll Roost back up HP with Corvo. Poison can be a little bit annoying. They have spikes on the field. But hey, can't do anything about it. So yeah, there's a Protect from him. That is fine. Maybe we can get a burn on Tinglu. Maybe we can get a little bit of burn action on this thing. So we know Palafin's last Pokemon. A little, little bit of an issue. Always an issue. Give me the burn on that thing. Man, come on, man. Give me that burn. I want that burn. Now we're roosted. Give me some HP back. We love it. We love the HP. Almost back to full. EQ comes out here. So we have to go for the EQ, and this is exactly why Terrasla should be able to soak that up a little bit. That's all. Eat up. Oh, and I roost it so it hits Corviknight. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. A terrible turn of events. Terrible turn of events, but hey, it'd be like that. So now I'm just going to Iron Head you down, and I'm just going to go into a Heat Wave. Heat Wave time. I wonder what he does with Baxcalibur here. I think he might just Ice Shard and look for the KO, right? But we should be able to eat up an Ice Shard. Definitely going to Ice Shard me. And he might be able to eat up a Heat Wave, too. With Ting Lu on the field, really neutralizing this uh, special defense drop. Let's see, but yeah, Corvo's doing good here. I, I really like Corvo. And of course, wait, it's using EQ once we use. You have to go for Ice Shard, and we're able to soak that, so that's really good. Heat Wave connects. Heat Wave almost KOs. Thundermilk Exchange can come out here, so attack boost is here. Chi is going to die out from Life Orb. And we have Flutter Main left. And they have a half HP Palafin. See how this one plays out here. Iron Head's gonna fly here. Give me a flinch. Oh, one HP. Third shot. You eat that up. Cool. Alright, so Tailwind's gone. I'm not too worried about speed. Uh ba -ba 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 -bum. Do I just Shadow Ball the Baxi? Poison, man. <laughs> I can't stand it. I can't do it anymore. God dang it, poison. Alright, we go, we go. We chillin'. Chillin'. Special attacks boost. I could roost. Could go for a lovely little roost. Just gonna iron head you down, Shadow Ball, Baxcalibur. That's a play. That is my play. Because Dazzling Gleam will not KO that. That Baxcalibur. I mean, Ops Ice Shard. I was hoping you could soak up an Ice Shard, but you don't. Which kind of sucks. Because now we're gonna have to take a, probably a third chop from that Pokemon. And thing is, we have to be able to eat up a jet punch. That's that's our that's our only way of winning, right? We have to eat up a jet punch. But is this gonna do damage? Poison's gonna take away. They're probably gonna double protect and then just jet punch me, right? EQ comes out here. How much damage is done? Oh, a lot more than I thought it would. Okay, that's a good game. Yeah, jet punch KOs me. Jet punch KOs me. Wow, dude, that thing hit a lot harder than I thought it would. A lot, a lot. But this little Palafin comes back to bite. Oh, man, dude, Palafin's the best, man. It's such a good Pokemon. It's so good in the back end. Because it comes out, and you're just like, oh, dude, what do I do now? But yeah, we're just going to run this match. One and one for today's video. Let's hop to our third. Look for that winning record. Final match coming at you guys. And we're going up against a Tinkaton and Palafin Shen Pal team. This one looks like it's going to be tough. They have Pelipper, which they might bring just for weather control. But that seems to be, like, the only reason why Pelipper's on that team. They also have Serene over there and Amoongus for a little bit of support. 
How should we play this one? How should we get after it? I feel like Salamence is just a great lead. A lot of physical attackers. So I'm going to end up leading uh, Salamence. Getting after the match that way. And then, do I go Corvo again? I feel like that lead wasn't bad, right? I feel like that lead was not bad at all. Because Corvo is going to be pretty good here. I don't mind Corviknight. I kind of really like Corviknight here. Especially up against the Pokemon that they have. So I'm going to end up going Corvo. Let's go Corvo. Let's go Salamence. And then on top of that, we could go Chiyu Fluttermane. Chiyu Iron Bundle. What would be better for us? What would be better for jeans? I'm thinking maybe Iron Bundle with that vest, but a lot of physical attackers, so maybe just Fluttermane. Maybe just a Yule Fluttermane to you combo. I'm all about it. Let's lock it in. Lock it down. Time for a nice lovely winning record. Hopefully. Hopefully. Don't want to get my hopes up too much, you know? Yeah. It's time for it. I would like to grab it. I would definitely like to grab it here. <laughs> so thirsty. My mouth dry. It's kind of annoying me. I've been like drinking all these all day. And we're going to see who they lead. It's going to be Tinkaton and Pally Pally. Tinkaton and Pally Pally. Thing. So from here, um, hmm. What do I do here? Tailwind Dragon Dance? Could be really good for us. Hit Terrasilize. Uh, I think it's just, a, I don't think he goes for a player up here. So I'm just going to Tailwind Dragon Dance here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Tailwind Dragon Dance is going to come out from us. It's going to have to fake out one of us and then swap the other one. Makes the most sense, right? So either way, we're getting, either getting off Tailwind or we're getting off the Dragon Dance. I would like to get off the Dragon Dance more than the Tailwind. But we'll see what, what our opponent wants to do here. Because I do have EQ for that Tinkaton. They do some nice work onto it. So there's the Withdrawal the Palafin. So good. And the worst is you have to always deal with it last. And Pelipper's going to come out here. And I totally... That's why the Pelipper's here. Raining Jet Punch is just insane. Should have brought the Bomb of Snow. He ends up faking out the Salamence. I can deal with that. I could deal with that. And Tailwind's going to fly for us. So, mm. Tailwind comes out here. So we go for D-Dance. Maybe, maybe not. I think we might just want to EQ. I think we just double down try to get rid of Tinkaton. I mean, Pelipper can be annoying, but still, this match, I don't know how this one's going to go. I really don't like where we're sitting here. The EQ's going to fly here. We're chunking up some damage on Tinkaton. Big time halfing it up, and how much damage will Iron Head do here? It KOs. So we get rid of Tinkaton this mat or this play, which is good. So, Player Ruff was probably coming into me. It's good that we just got rid of it. Ice Beam flies. You're ripping with Ice Beam, Pelper? Chill. Chill, Pelper. Chill, Pelper. So, that's a big time damage from him. And now comes the Palafin. So, Palafin, obviously a problem. Obviously a problem in this ring. Jet Punch is galore. Really doing me dirty. So I would love to go for a dual wing beat and I would love to just like double down into this Pokemon. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Probably pal- uh, Holy Tex. I was going to say probably sets up a Tailwind here with Pelipper, right? But that was just a lovely protect. That was just a really good protect from him. So we just double down into it. We just double down into that. That's what's really good about a Pokemon like Palafin. Like you can protect and most of the time an attack is coming after you. So you have to go into the Surf. Can you- Dodge the Salamence, maybe, please. No, you do not. And this Palpra is the weirdest moveset, but it's working so well, right? It's working incredibly well. Insanely well. A little bit too well. Um, from here, could go Fluttermane. I don't, might really like Fluttermane. Say I boost your energy and I go into Chi Yu. Oh, I kind of like that. I'm going to go into Fluttermane. I'm going to Terrasilize Fluttermane. I'm going to Terrasilize Fluttermane. Go into a Dazzling Gleam. Just so I hit both. And I'm going to swap into Chiyu. I got to look to get off as much damage as I possibly can. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's my play all day. So we're going to Terra you and we're just hard swapping right into Chiyu. We want this move doing as much damage as we possibly can. I am terrified of the Jet Punch. But I'm going to I'm gonna hope that my, uh, that my girl Fluttermane can eat up this Jet Punch. If it does come in here. So we bring out the fishy fishy. Fishy fishy fishy. Fishy fishy fishy. We bring out fishy fishy. Alright. This could be this could turn to tides here, this this terror here. This play actually. But I'm, I'm hoping it can kill Palafin, right? I'm hoping. Really am. So let's see what they opt to go in here. Jet punch into the flutter main. And you don't eat. That's all I need you to do, Fluttermane, was to eat that up. And yeah, I knew that was going to be a problem. Palfin. Palfin's just ripping into me right now. 
no bueno whatsoever. Hydro Pump's gonna KO me. Yeah, I didn't mind if Chi Yu went down if Fluttermane got off its shot. Because that would have been big time damage. But yeah, that's gonna be game set match. We just got ripped on by Palafin in today's video. I mean, one and two, Palafin really came in clutch for both battles. But I should have probably seen that the rain was gonna be a problem here. But I, I didn't realize it until it was too late. But I'm just going to run this battle. One and two for today's video. Didn't play terribly. Didn't play great. Wish I could have played better for you guys today's video. Still were able to grab ourselves a win in match number one. But ended up losing match number two and match number three. Leave me a comment down in the comment section down below. If you want me to run this back in another video. And try to grab ourselves a winning record. I think that's what we should start doing. If we get a losing record for a team. Maybe use it again. Try to get, try keep using it until we get a winning record. I think that could be pretty cool. Especially for teams that we didn't get to fully showcase. Like this team today. But guys that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content. Don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here click that big red subscribe button. So you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.